If April showers bring May flowers, then what do April blizzards bring? Winter's largely left this scene for another year across Canada, but not in Winnipeg. As I write this in mid-April of 2022, that part of our country is literally bracing for two feet of snow. Still, as the past winter makes its final appearances, it's time for me to look back on the winter test drive season that was. Fresh out of logging about 40,000 icy kilometers of real-world testing across more than 15 of the market's latest vehicles, fitted with some of their latest technologies. I'm Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca, and here's my annual look back at the winter that was, with a specific focus on the most impressive machines and moments and a few things I learned along the way. Twenty twenty two Ford Maverick. This has been one of my most requested models for many months, and a huge number of friends, family, viewers, and readers are proving keen to learn about this compact pickup. During our extended time together, the Maverick and I tackled two separate city stopping snow days. Wearing a set of Falcon Wild Peak tires, that's a three-peak mountain snowflake rated all-terrain but not a dedicated winter. Though I would definitely be installing dedicated winter tires on my own Maverick for these conditions. All right, so watch me get in and out here. There's the height level. Sideways and down into the seat, nice and easy. This is more like getting into a car uh, than a pickup truck as you might know them. Comfortable seated driving position. I am a five foot 10, 200 pound guy. This is what it looks like for me. Uh, legs and knees are not crowded. The dashboard set far enough ahead that I can sit with my legs a little wider apart if I like to without touching anything. Heated steering wheel, nice touch on a day like this. Dial shifter down here. So we just rotate that for the gear that we want. My tester proved a treat to drive in the snow. Specifically, the handling, steering, braking, and especially all-wheel drive system feel nicely calibrated for drama-free wintertime driving even in severe conditions. To put that simply, it feels like in the development stage, they spent a lot of time getting things dialed in in real-world winter conditions so that it feels just right at the tips of your fingers and toes. Expert calibration of the stability control and all-wheel drive system make for fast extraction of grip from even slippery surfaces with virtually no digging or wasted wheel spin. The Maverick has a dense and solid road feel that works surprisingly well with sporty handling characteristics. For a winter driving feel that's stable, planted, obedient, and highly responsive, the powertrain is smooth and pleasing, and the all-wheel drive system can even slow or lock a single rear wheel while you're steering in deep snow to make the Maverick much more maneuverable. So the drive on this little truck is full of touches like this. Added up, they make it an easy machine to enjoy when the snow flies. Mercedes S580 4MATIC Speaking of easy to enjoy, the Mercedes S580 is one of the most impressive cars I've ever visited. Still on a particularly frigid test week in the dead of winter, another story started to emerge as I wrote about this machine. Detail by detail, the S580 was now demonstrating how its promise of incredible refinement and comfort is still valid even at 35 below. At those temperatures, most cars struggle or fail to start, creak and crack, vibrate and squeak, idle poorly, take considerable time to heat up, and may even have a louder and less comfortable ride because everything is frozen stiff. Of course, none of that is acceptable to shoppers dropping six figures on a luxury flagship, and so at face-shattering temperatures, the S580's 48-volt hybrid V8 engine smoothly glides to life with little more hesitation or noise than starting it at room temperature. You may have noticed the lack of an engine starter sound there because of course this engine doesn't have one. The starter's job is done by the integrated starter generator ISG system, uh, which just spins that crankshaft and gets the engine up and running smoothly. From there, it settles into a smooth and creamy idle in a second or so. And thanks to its so-called electric booster heater, a feature enabled by its high voltage hybrid system, warm air starts to enter the cabin in a moment, not an eternity. Squeaks, rattles, panels clicking, forget about it. A harsher, noisier ride? Nope. Even in the middle of a wintertime cold snap, the S580 maintains its character as a creamy and quiet cruiser, almost like a leather-lined V8-powered hovercraft that lights up like the inside of a nightclub when the sun goes down, and by day, it gives occupants a gorgeous place to relax while they take in the wintertime scenery. 2022 Kia EV6 Kia's all-new, all-electric EV6 GT Long Range headed north for a few thousand kilometers of cold weather testing. Its 411-kilometer battery at room temperature proved good for a comfortable 315 kilometers of driving at a good clip at minus 10 degrees Celsius with the heat cranked. 
That's more than sufficient for a spirited afternoon drive down some of my favorite icy back roads north of the city. It's here where the Kia EV6 put the biggest grins on my face. Combining right now torque with a hair trigger throttle and an all-wheel drive calibration that feels dialed right in, the enthusiast driver can expect this machine to deliver a ton of noiseless fun when the traction is low and the going gets twisty. In sport mode, the high torque, high grip, rear drive biased feel to the EV6 on snow and ice reminded me of some of my favorite winter eating sports sedans. Specifically, that's thanks to the immediate and very pleasing reactions to driver inputs, especially the throttle. We've also got the turn signal camera mirrors here, of course, signal left, and that left segment of the instrument cluster turns into a video feed uh, from that mirror, and signal right, and we get a video feed from the right hand side. We'll put some footage up showing this in motion too, uh, but again, another pretty cool touch here. The sensation of both grip and thrust increasing immediately as you press that throttle pedal and send snow and ice airborne never gets old. 2022 Acura MDX. The morning after a nearly two foot snowfall blanketed Sudbury, I collected cameraman James and headed north in this machine in search of some roads that hadn't yet been visited by the snowplows. The mission was to film the MDX driving in the deepest snow possible. Our road of choice for this exercise had not been plowed yet, but when we arrived, both cameraman James and I had our reservations about whether the MDX could tackle the task with bumper deep snow in some spots and waist deep drifts in others. Even I was a little apprehensive. Still, we pressed on through thick snow as deep as the tires in some stretches, meaning that plenty of wheel spin was required to maintain forward momentum and keep us from getting stuck. So a key memory from this winter's driving that I won't soon forget is how the MDX performed in this specifically challenging scenario. Tackling this much snow on this particular road often requires disengaging the vehicle's traction control system fully, managing the throttle for steady wheel spin over an extended period, working to maintain momentum at all costs, and otherwise entering into a fairly noisy, high-stress driving environment until you're clear of the snow. Too much of this and you could overheat the all-wheel drive system. These tend to heat up after extended periods of wheel spin, and in some cases, this overheating trips a safety measure that switches from all-wheel drive to two-wheel drive until things cool down. Losing your all-wheel drive is, of course, a stressful proposition in the middle of a back road in the bush that's buried in snow and ice. Turns out I didn't have much to worry about. The MDX takes a relaxed approach to this sort of driving, which helps to reduce the stress often associated with tackling deep snow. Here, wheel spin is limited automatically to levels that are sufficient but not excessive. There's less need for the driver to manage the throttle, less noise and wasted fuel from the engine, steadier acceleration, and an easier time steering the vehicle. No sign of system overheating even after 20 minutes of carefully metered out wheel spin. So mostly you're just relaxing in your seat, pointing the wheel, and enjoying the scenery as the machine maintains its composure and does all of the hard work for you. Those trying to power slide their way to the chalet after a blizzard may wish for something snappier. Still, drivers after minimized stress and maximized confidence in the deep stuff will find that it works just great. Here's an SUV I'd be happy to take to camp even after heavy snow without any second guessing. I'm Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notify buttons down below so you never miss a new upload. And until next time, take care and drive safe.